What is good friends back with another small and snack draft game, this time phase 3 between Finchnet and Cory. Looking at the teams real quick, I assume this is a Scarf Ladi, Defensive Core of Celestila, Pax and Landris. Most likely Z move Kartana and then a Mega Low Pony. As I guess he can go for Fake Out or Hot Switch Out into his own Pax or his Ladi. He does not really have a good Scald Switch in, as I assume this T Tier is Bennett is a Mega Metric that can potentially Volt Switch on a Ladi so that helps Cory trap the Ladi with a Titar. It's probably Z move Gyarados. Um, it's gonna be tough for Finch. Um, Manic Trick is a huge threat in this game because um, Ladi is like his one of his best checks for Manic Trick, but he cannot really go to Ladi because if Ladi gets Volt Switched on and gets, gets trapped by Titar. So um, Finch spams Skull, uh, clicks Skull, he tries to get the burn. As now he's gonna go Kartana here. Kari can either go for a Hazards or for a Knock Off. Actually, there was no point in knocking off because this is most likely Z move Kartana. As I expect either the Lando or the Toxapex to come out here for Cory. Finch can go for Default, Finch can go for SD. Um, but since this Lando is offensive, he does go Lando. This this should take a lot. He does go hard for Z-Move. As that is 70-ish, um, 70%. I'm not sure if that's... I think that's maybe Scarf Lando with some bulk investment. Because I think if he was defensive, it would only be like 50 to 60, and if he was Scarf, it should do 80%. So it's probably um, Scarf Lander with some bulk investment, and he's probably going to U-turn out here. As Finch uh, did go in the lob, predicting the U-turn, well, he predicted either Rocks or U-turn, but I think predicted U-turn. And he didn't want to go into Celesteela, because if he goes Celesteela, that lets in the Manectric, and the Manectric is a huge threat for Finch. So Pax is going to click Scald here for um, Cory. Trying to get the burn, and I guess I'm just gonna exchange skulls for a while, trying to get some burns left and right. And Curry gets it first, so now Curry might switch back into Farothorn. Farothorn is one of the mods that really appreciate burn getting nerfed in uh, Gen 7. And now Curry can maybe double switch, predicting the Katana into. Yeah, he does go into Manectric, that would have covered the Katana. Um, Finch scalds again, which is completely understandable um, because he was just trying to burn the Ferrothorn. But I can also understand Cory's play because Manectric covers the Kartana and Manectric also covers the Pex scalding again. As T Bolt actually does not kill the Pex if it's Spadev, so. But it's still, Manectric is a huge threat. Um, I guess Cory can Volt Switch here, try to Volt Switch on Oladi. To get the Tita and to trap the Ladi, or he could just click T Bolt. Because I don't think Finch would go hard Lando. If he loses his Lando, um. Yeah, like losing Lando is annoying for Finch because that's one of his few months he has to hit to beat Toxapex. And that also helps him to check Ban Tower. As you see, it's Baneful Bunker Toxapex. <laughs> so I think Cory's just gonna click um, T Bolt now, or Volt Switch again. Finch might stay in, um, trying to get a Scald Burn or trying to Toxic the Manectric, because if it's Max with Death, Pex can eat up even the T-Bolt from Manectric. Uh, Toxapex has crazy bulk, as it only does 73, and he is Toxic. So now, um, I don't think Cory's gonna stay in because Manectric is nice in his match and he will get worn down. Um, I guess Cory might HP Ice and stay in, but... I feel like if I was Cory, I would try to make a play that covers Baneful Bunker, that covers the switch into Landris. But he does HPI as a uh, predicting Baneful Bunker or the Landris, which is understandable. But he does get worn down by Toxic. Finch went into Celesteela knowing that there was no way he was gonna electric move, most likely. And he does miss a Leech Seed. So the reason why Finch Leech Seed there is he predicted Cory to switch because Cory um, didn't want his Manectric to get worn down and he didn't want the Celestia to protect, which is why he switched out. So completely understandable. Finch makes a nice prediction but misses the Leech Seed, which sucks. He goes Hardline and he gets uh, Scald Burned, which is really unfortunate. His uh, Pex got Scald Burned and now his Lando also got Scald Burned. And it is a knockoff Lando. I think it's knockoff defensive. As it's the move Gyarados confirmed. And Finch does not really have good answers to this. As Cory is most likely gonna drag Nance up here as he does go on a Lopani. So he can now go for fake out to get some chip damage off and then he's forced to sack something. So I assume he's gonna fake out, he gets a crit and that does some nice damage. Now he can sack off his Landris to get the Intimidate. Um if Cory predicts that he can drag Nance again, but I assume he's just gonna he's just gonna attack here. Finch uh, should sack the lander here. 
As he does go in the land uh, to get off the Intimidate. Let's see if he GDs again. He just hard Z moves. And he has a Hydro Vortex variant, not a Sky Strike variant. Interesting. And now he can go to Scarf Lari or to... I guess Katana. Yeah, he can go to Katana. He does not want to go to Lari because if he cuts the Gyarados with the Lari, then he gets trapped by Titar. And yeah, Katana is pretty nice here. Uh, because Katana can live a plus one bounce relatively easy. I think it's going to do like 60 to 70 ish. And yeah, Katana can obviously kill the Gyarados from the range it's at with a Leaf Blade. Katana has a really high attack stat, we all know that, right? Uh, Ramon is, Katana is so good, I remember when no one used Katana, but people found out that this one is actually crazy, like it's so hard to check defensively. But yeah, Leaf Blade should be the play for Finch here, and Bounce should be the play for Kari. But overall, um, it's looking like Kari is gonna win this game. But like he can like weaken Celestia with Bantar, and if he gets rid of the Lari as well, I think um, Finch's Toxa Pex kind of just wins. So, I meant Corys. The reason why I said Finch is because he's named Finch to 2600. <laughs> he's playing on an alt, so he does bounce, and bounce should do like uh, 65 or 70 percent. The 66 Leaf Blade is gonna pick up the Gyarados. Katana is gonna get an attack boost, and now he can go to Manectric or yeah, exactly Manectric, and he can just click. Um, Volt Switch here, or yeah, I think Volt Switch is fine. That way, you don't take any poison damage on the Manectric. Yeah, but yeah, Cory's name on the forum is Cory2600. That's and yeah, this is like a kind of a joke alt, I guess. <laughs> he should Volt Switch here. I think that's the play I would make just to not take any poison damage on the Manectric. And if Finch switches, you get momentum. If he stays in, you kill the Cortana. He does go to Lopani. Lopani should be able to live a Volt Switch as it is 45. Now we're going to see uh, probably a Toxapex come out from Finch's side. Or I said Finch again just because of his alt name. This is my bad, guys. We're going to see Toxapex come out from Kari or the Landorus. If the Lando is Scarf Defensive, I'm still not 100% sure about the Lando, but I think it's Scarf Defensive. So he's just going to Pex and he can. Um, I think Finch is going to go to his own Pex here. He could frag out, but it doesn't really matter because it only does a little bit of chip. Um, Finch, uh, I, oh, I keep saying Finch, I meant Cory. It's gonna just scald here because he does not lose anything. And now Finch can go for recover here with his packs. This time I did not mix up his name. He's just gonna recover here. Uh, Cory can switch out. He goes on the Pharaoh. Um, he could have also gone to Bantar, but this is fine because he doesn't want to risk Bantar getting burned, which is understandable. So now he's potentially gonna knock off the. the Pex, he gets up a spike. Well, so he does have rocks and spikes on the Pharaoh. Um, so he's either lacking Leech Seed or he's lacking some other move that Pharaoh Son usually runs. I assume he's gonna knock off a Leech Seed. As he has Jarbo, okay. So the Lari comes out here and does he have like I don't know what Finch predicted. He doubled into Lari, but they're playing too fast for me. I was trying to analyze the play. Now he doubled out and started celebrating the Tita, which is completely understandable. He's gonna be able to leech seed here. I'm surprised that he did not go for protect. I guess he was fearing. Um, I guess he was just just in case. Um, Finn, uh, Corey switched would switch out into Pex. He was gonna leech seed there, try to catch that. To be fair, um, Finch is really behind in this game already. It's like he's not gonna be able to win this. He's gonna leaf play here, second sword. Um, yeah, the reason he second sorted was because um, yeah, he didn't want Finch, he didn't want Kari to go into, and with that we see it's confirmed Scarf Lando because it outspeeds the Katana. He didn't want um, Kari to go into Toxic uh, into Ferrothorn on a Leaf Blade, which is why he second sorted um, because he would obviously die to Iron Bribes, and otherwise he would also die to Hazards um, if he switches out back. So like he basically only had one more attack with the Katana. He was gonna get revenged by Scarf Lando, or he would die to Iron Barbs. Or after, even if he killed the Lando, then he would have uh, gotten revenged by Manectric. So this was pretty much a losing game. The the burn was uh, unfortunate on the Landris. But that's how Skull works. Um, Finch's team was quite weak to packs, especially Cory having the Tyranitar in the back meant that he couldn't really use the Lari to switch in on the packs. Just because Tita is always in the back threatening you to trap the, the Lari. Katana also doesn't really want to switch in on, on Scald and the Hazards also obviously annoy Finch. 
So you just go for knock off his visits. Knock off general packs with rocks and spikes, if I recall correctly. So we do see confirmed that uh, was Scarf Lari. Um, I guess the Lari is going to defog here as Corey is just going to click knock off and pick off the Lari. That's my guess what they are going to do here. Mm -hmm. But this uh, looking in Corey's favor. I actually don't know Corey's record at this moment. He just just spike again, which is actually smart to keep up a hazard. Mm, understandable play. He does get tricked now. Um, Finch predicted him to go for a hazard again, and now Finch can get off the defog, knowing that the Ferrothorn is locked into rocks. So that was well played by Finch, but. Oh, it wasn't locked in. It wasn't locked in. My bad. After you trick, then when it goes for a move, then it's locked in. But it was not locked in the last time. Yeah, my bad. So you can just go for HJK. He does miss, but it didn't matter. It would not have done much to the packs. And at this point, the game is over. Um, because Corey can just... Um, yeah, he goes to Ferrothorn. So he's just gonna um, knock off the Toxapex Black Sludge. If he didn't do that already, did he, do, did he knock it off already? Oh, he might have already knocked it off. I don't remember. Um, he didn't knock it off yet, so he's gonna knock off the Black Sludge, then he's gonna sack his Ferrothorn, then he can either go to Manectric or Landers to weaken the Toxopex a little bit more. And because Earthquake from Lander does not kill, I think, and although that's not till T-Bolt from Manectric, also doesn't Oko. So he's gonna sack, after he sacks the Ferrothorn, he's gonna sack the Lando or the Manectric to weaken the Pex in range from one of the other two. Let's say he goes Lando to quake the Pex after. Then it's in range from Manectric's T-Bolt, or if he T-Bolts to set Manectric, then it's in range from Earthquake, and Curry's gonna win the match that way. Either with Manectric or Lando, depending on what he goes to first. Uh, what he goes to after, <laughs> my bad. But yeah, I mixed up the names like four times in this, I think. <laughs> Just because they're both the alts that start with Finch. Had me confused. <laughs> but yeah, I assume he's gonna um, just end the game. He's gonna Lando, he's gonna Earthquake. Pex is gonna eat that and then Skull to kill the Lando, and then it's obviously in range uh, from Electric T Bolt. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back with more tournament games. And also, some of my friends, uh, hopefully, my BTP is gonna help me out with some narrations. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed. And I think Finch's team is at this point does not have uh, chances to make playoffs anymore. This is uh, phase 3, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. But I'll see you guys next time and a good boy. And actually, Manectric did not see that much play in tournament. And it was actually really nice in this matchup. Like, it did not put in super, like, a, a great amount of work, but it put in some work for sure. And, like, he pretty much didn't have great Manectric checks, and Tita in the back was just amazing for Cory as well. I already mentioned that. Yeah, good buffering.